Digital how-to video, striking with an implement, one-handed. Preparatory movements, grips and initial stance. Grip of tennis ball. Hold the tennis ball with non-dominant hand. Hold the tennis ball in the base of fingers with thumb on top. Grip of tennis racket. String area or head of tennis racket is perpendicular to the playing surface. Dominant hand out as to shake hands with the grip of the tennis racket. Wrap fingers around grip with thumb wrapped on top of pointer finger, similar to a fist. Dominant hand is no more than an inch off the bottom of the tennis racket. Initial stance. Side on body position towards target. Non-dominant shoulder towards target. Chin slightly tucked with eyes on the ball. Non-dominant foot in front. Stance slightly open. Stand with knees slightly bent. Lean forward. Slight bend at the waist resulting in slightly more weight on the leading leg. Hold ball with appropriate grip in non-dominant hand. Non-dominant arm near full extension with the non-dominant hand aligned with slightly above non-dominant hip. Extending non-dominant hand and tennis ball in front of non-dominant hip, resulting in the tennis ball to be released and land in front of the leading foot. Hold the tennis racket in the dominant hand with proper grip. Dominant arm is extended behind the body, slightly flexed at hip height. The tennis racket is extended back, aligned with the back knee. Racket head perpendicular to the playing surface. Wind up, or movements away from the target. Chin slightly tucked with eyes on the ball. Bring the tennis racket back slightly, keeping arm near full extension. Hips turn slightly towards the tennis racket, away from the target. Weight transfers to the back foot. Open non-dominant hand, extending all fingers, releasing the tennis ball. This results in the tennis ball to be released and land in front of the leading foot. Force producing movements. Chin slightly tucked with eyes on the ball. Bring the tennis racket forward with a slight bend in the dominant arm and simultaneously take a slight step with the non-dominant leg towards the target. Back shoulder is dipped slightly. As the step is taken, push off the dominant leg turning hips back towards the target. Weight transfers to front foot. The tennis racket should make contact behind the ball aligned with the front knee. Back heel is elevated. Shoulders squaring towards target. Follow through. The tennis racket is brought out, up, and across the body. Path from dominant hip to opposite shoulder. Dominant arm follows through up across the body, ending with an arm flexed, Elbow at shoulder height pointed at the target. Racket head movement stopping behind the head at shoulder height. This is the natural stop of the movement. All or nearly all weight on the front foot. Back foot may come off the ground. Eyes follow the flight of the tennis ball.